So in the process of reviewing spoilers, I found myself, well, completely unmotivated to do so. Maybe it's because it's a game that's just not fit out to be reviewed, maybe it's because I'm the laziest human in existence, who knows. So in the meantime, let's take a look at some Color Dreams games I have, shall we? So, Color Dreams, for those of you uninitiated, was a bootleg video game company founded by Dan Lawton due to his unwillingness to abide in Nintendo's licensing requirements as they'd practically be illegal by today's standards. The company would then go on to make several other games in the next two years before finally abandoning the company name in favor of... Uh, a better future. In 1991, leaving a long series of painfully bad games that now live in infamy. Now, I don't have all these games, it goes without saying that a lot of these games are pretty rare now. But what I do have, I'll take a look at starting... now. So, Silent Assault is an action platformer in the same vein of games like Contra or Journey to Silius, and yeah, I put all that in quotations because this is probably the worst game of the bunch and less than a good omen to say the least. Heck, it's barely better than the game you find on Action 52. So you start off in a... I guess that's a hang glider, minding your own business when this guy starts to drop bombs on you, and a barrage of soldiers attacks you from behind. Okay, game... There's a difficulty curve. It exists. Why do you pretend it doesn't exist? It matters. Freaking use it. It's not like this game's hard all the way through either. In fact, the easiest level, in my opinion, is the third to the last level in the game. And the hardest is the third to first. Other than that, the only one hit kill enemy in the game is in level one. Why? So, after that onslaught of recycled sprites, you're greeted with a boss. At the end of every. Single. Stage. And they all boil down to essentially the same strategy of... Mindlessly jumping and shooting until something dies. Also, now would be a good time to mention that the game has less sound effects than flipping Pong. Like, when you take a hit, grab a power-up, or even die, there's no sound clip at all. And the sound effects that the game does use are so grating to the ear and misleading. Like, this sound effect? That's what plays when you damage a boss. All that correlates in the making of the game seem as empty, lazy, and stock as it conceivably could, which, need I tell you, is not a good thing. So, after running and jumping and running and jumping and running and jumping and running and jumping, you face off against the final boss of this bizarre game. A pellet-firing sphinx. Sure. Why not? Oh no, never mind! TWO pellet-firing sphinxes! Got it! I'm so sorry I made that mistake! Alright! I beat Silent Assault, guys! Billy Mitchell's got nothing on me! What do I win?! So, Silent Assault. Is it good? Is it bad? Personally, I can't tell. Yeah, I know the obvious answer, but I honestly had a bit of fun with this game. To me, once I played it for a while, I started to work around the game's flaws. I started to take the game at face value. I started to take it as a, well, crappy game, and got used to all of it sucking. After that, I just sat back and went, wow, I'm actually playing this game right now. What am I doing? And, for some reason, to me, that translated as a so bad it's good game. Don't get me wrong, it sucks, but I personally couldn't be too mad at the game in the 20 minutes it took me to beat it. So, I don't know what to tell you. Buy it? I guess? Oh, am I kidding? This game is so bad!